Hey guys, Zeb, you want to hit live on the Oh device. yeah, let's do that. Um, we are going to be painting cottage color. Well, we're going to be painting with cottage colors today because it is 15% off on the website. So never, ever, ever has DIY paint ever authorized a sale, but the cottage color line is new and they're wanting to get it out there in front of more people. So it's 15% off, no code needed at jamierayvintage.com. You can get any of the DIY cottage colors until 12, 16? Friday, Friday 11.59. 12, 16 and 11, 59 PM. You can get it at jamierayvintage.com. And we're just going to be thrift flipping. If you have questions, comment, we'll try to catch them. Um, and yeah, we're going to get going. If you do want to shop the thrift flips, I think this has sold, but I think a few of the other things are still available. And that's also on our website, not on sale, but for sale, you just go to the Saturday thrift talk collection, click that and go. And, um, yeah, we're just going to get painting. This is actually I'm most excited about. So these, go ahead and tell them about Oh, that. just because it has got a really good detail. But these I need to paint because I've got to get the transfer on them. So those I'll do first. So these ones here, you're painting the whole thing. You're not going to leave them galvanized? Yeah, I'm going to paint it with pink. All right. Can you open that for me? Yes. So Valentine's Day is coming. I know you guys maybe want to see Christmas crafts or maybe you're tired of Christmas crafts because I've been Christmas crafting since August. Um, <laughs> it's true. So I'm getting ready for Valentine's Day in spring. Vintage pink is the perfect non baby pink it's like a peachy pink and it looks really great on camera it mostly looks white but it does dry it's definitely pink pink so i'm gonna get these going because i want to put an iod transfer on them it's hard to not like over brighten it because everything else to dull it down to show the pink color the actual peachiness of it uh, i almost gotta the... darken the camera so much that it's like real shadowy well maybe you darken the camera i'll look tan oh is that a thing <laughs> I don't i'm know. just gonna start glowing in the dark over here Right. It's not that dark today. Just the lighting, it'll mess with it. Okay. I see you are also live on Instagram. Rashonda, we are. I'm trying to go live on Instagram like once or twice a week to see if it helps the algorithm, but I don't know. I'm going to go grab a tiny screwdriver. I didn't realize I can take this whole face off and the glass, and then I can go to town painting this. Okay. What color? Are you I was thinking gray skies with dark wax. Um, we will see. It doesn't have like a ton of architectural detail. It's got a little bit of a... Uh, um cove out and fluting here but fluting i don't know what to it's call high it. fluting i don't know what to call it it's like it's routered the nice thing about cottage colors is it does stick really well to metal i've painted quite a few metal things with it sometimes you have to do like a couple of coats but it has a built-in sealer so as soon as i get this the coverage that i want i don't have to seal it and then i can add my iod transfer and be done i'm all about ease of use Merry Christmas, Mary Harmon. She says, Merry Christmas. Whoop, whoop. Yes, Leslie, we are live. We do have an edited video that will go up on YouTube and Facebook tomorrow. It is the bathroom. We're getting that finished. And then if you guys are uh, subscribers on Facebook or Instagram, or you're a um, channel member on YouTube, we will have a extra live tomorrow at 10 a.m. MST, and I will get that link up about 9.55 a.m. MST. I'll get the link up for that in all the places. Oh, so stay over. tuned for that. And then the next um, channel membership will probably be the week between Christmas and New Year's. But we'll see. <laughs> December's a hard month. Anybody else like super busy? Zeb and I have, um, we're going to do a craft with Jack's um, elementary school class That's this week. One. And then Odelia has a performance. She's in the play, The Grinch. So we are just like busy, busy. I'm trying to think what else is yeah, going on. Yeah, it doesn't slow week. down. Football season's over. That's like the busiest time, but both the younger boys are doing seven on seven football. Yeah, but they don't is, have tournaments till like February. So. Yeah, which they have practice still though. Yeah. All right, so if you can't see what I'm doing, I just, I've got this little tiny screwdriver. There's four Phillips screws in the back here that I'm gonna pull out and take this whole face off. Oh, I guess I should pull up Instagram. I think, but the thing I've noticed like on Instagram is like most of the time people like pop on, but I and don't really right see, they pop right back off. Although I can't get the live feed up here. How do I do that? You got to go with your, you got to go be Jamie, right? I don't, do, oh, maybe I just need to log off and log in as somebody else. I have a few other accounts. I'll log into Han and Chewy's account. 
That's my sheep. They have their own Instagram. I, I don't do anything they have with their it. Own Instagram. It's been dormant for a while. <laughs> it's because they're dirty. Is that a metal clock, Leslie? It is a metal clock. Look at um, that. That's kind of cool just by itself. Yeah, the face is cool. We may it may be for sale, maybe not, because it is sold, but then she decided she's like, well, I don't know if it's gonna match my decor. And we are we normally are just like, well, if we put will be painted, you get it how you get it. But she didn't know that. So we told her if she didn't like it, we'll just put it back up on the website. All right. Now I've got a this is glued in here. But I think she wants it kind of primitive, neutral, distressed for her cabin. So I'm thinking gray skies with a dark wax. Okay. Is gonna be a good option and then kind of bring back that original base coat. It's, it's, it's like glue, but it's a, like a, got a strip, like a seal strip in there too. Oh, got it. I actually asked the other day if people like edited videos or lives and it's really split 50, 50. Some people said they like the interaction between us. So I told Zeb on the edited videos, we got to do funny stuff. <laughs> we do funny things on them and I cut them out because I'm like, ah, that's going to make it be a 15 minute video if we leave all that talking in there. Or something funny happens but the camera's not rolling. Yeah. And you can't like recreate the funny. It just doesn't happen. Yeah. So we're going to try. And then I asked, maybe we can ask people here. I want you guys to tell me questions you have about Zeb and I. It can be work related or not. Um, and things you'd like to know about. So we have some things to talk about on our edited videos so we can tell some stories. Because sometimes it's hard to talk about yourself. Like Just randomly start saying things? Yeah, like I'm like, do people really want to know this about me? I don't know. We're, we're plenty interesting people. We're weird. <laughs> There's always something to talk about. I don't know about. that we're weird. We just do oh, a lot of different things. I'm weird. Maybe you're not. All right, this is going to dry. Should I do this pink too? Because this is going to be like a floral bucket. I would, I would rebut that, but you've been trying to really convince me that you're weird and different for the last month, like really strongly. So I'm just going to let you have that. I've been trying to convince you that I'm different. <laughs> yeah. You're like, I'm a lot sometimes. <laughs> I just feel like oh, maybe just people tell me that. And so I just think that it's true. Maybe it's not true. I don't know. I feel like you're just living your best life well, all that's the time. For sure. It's funny because I feel like a lot of people say, oh, you should be yourself. But then you are yourself and they're like, oh, but don't do not do that. You're like, whoa, that was too much. That I was, was like, too much of yourself. <laughs> uh, or don't have it, you know, don't hold back and try to be what people expect. And I'm like, I don't know if you're prepared for that. And then I am myself and they don't like it. I don't think they truly believe it. They want to say it because it sounds good, but then they don't really want it. And I'm pretty much myself all the time. I like, does anybody follow Elise Myers? She has a saying, if people say you're too much, just tell them to go find less. And then every time I say that, I always think of Les Meyer because she's awesome. <laughs> like we know where Les is. I'm like, I'll tell you where Les is. Okay, so gray skies on this, more cottage color, love the single step, all in one paint, because man, we're, we put it on and we're done if we want to be. I think I'm going to use this brush here. The hard thing about edited videos is for whatever reason, YouTube has been a butthead. And if YouTube is listening, hopefully they hear this. We have put out probably three or four edited videos. You can go to YouTube and where it says videos, you can see all the most recent ones. And they, for having almost 200,000 subscribers, they don't have any views. Nobody's watching them. And I'm like, I, it's really discouraging to spend all day filming a video, another day editing it, and then nobody watches it. So that's how and I was asking. you can go so live like, and more people watch it. <laughs> I know, that's how I was asking. So I'm like, do people just not want to watch the edited videos? Or do you just not know they're there and YouTube's being stingy with notifications? Which I think is probably true. Because I've heard from a few people, they said they clicked the all notifications button, but then they don't get all the notifications or somebody clicked it well, off. Well, the secret that they don't tell you is YouTube also wants you to interact. And a lot of people just want to watch. Like they don't want to comment. They don't. They don't do the like. Some of them are watching from their TV. And so <clears throat> if you don't, don't interact comment, with the channel, comment, it like. It won't show you? Yeah, it like really oh, that, reduces your reach. That's sneaky. Because I also have a bunch of channels that I follow and I don't get notifications for hardly any of them. That is true. So on my favorite channels, I just have to make a note. I actually put reminders in my phone to check for videos because yeah, sometimes YouTube is stingy. Did you hear me, YouTube? I'm calling you out. And Instagram, I don't know what's up with that. Like, it grew for a while, and then it's like, it's, it's like, nope. It's fine. We're just going to keep being over here painting and milking our cow and 
fixing up old buildings. That's what we do. <laughs> Brenda says, be yourself. I appreciate genuineness. Really, you're going to get me the way I am because I'm not like I have too much on my brain to remember to be fake. <laughs> like there's no room in my brain for fake Jamie. She's like, oh, yeah, I was being this character today. Real Jamie takes up all of my brain space and maybe some of brain space I don't have. Linda says she's sneaking in at work. Debbie's on here. She's driving, but listening. Um, Denise says she sets alarms for our videos. Denise is around a lot. Denise is actually a local friend of ours. Comes into the shop. Has horses, if I remember correctly. And she does catch a lot of our videos. And um, I've been noticing, too, like on Facebook, more and more people are hitting the share button. And so that does help our videos get out. So if you're, like, commenting and sharing, it does help them. And not everybody likes the short form content, like the reels and the shorts, but man, they are, they get a lot of reach. So I don't know who's watching them, but somebody is. All right. So this is vintage pink right here. I get it looks white, but I promise you it is pink. And in real life, it's the most beautiful, soft, luscious pink. And it's going to look super it's, cute. It's on peachy. That. It's peachy. It's pink. got peachy undertones. Oh, um, I, Leslie says I set my alarm, but I don't know when this one is supposed to come out. This that's is a thing. random one. That's so. the thing, too, is like the edited videos, we can't commit to a schedule because our life is too crazy. So really, you just have to once a week. And that might be on check. us. Like maybe the algorithm would gift us with all kinds of reach if we were like, OK, we're going to post at 8 o'clock every day. But it's so hard, especially with kids and running the business. And the cow. And, yeah, I like, the only thing that happens for sure every day is I go feed the animals in the morning. We read scriptures or pray with the kids in the morning before I go do that. And I milk the cow and feed the animals again in the evening. Like I, those are the things that are set in stone. They have to happen every day. <laughs> I try to get like on a schedule, but I, like today was the Mondayest Monday that ever <laughs> existed. Like it started before my butt even got out of bed. Like we told the kids come in for prayer because we've been reading scriptures like at night because we're doing Advent. So we don't feel super guilty if we don't also read in the morning. And so we're like, we're just going to pray. So we're not going to go downstairs. So we're trying to get all the kids in our room to pray because I'm still in bed because it's cold. And Eliza is whining because she's not dressed yet. Redrick is yelling at Jack. And I'm like, we are trying to feel the Holy Spirit in here. So we said prayer. We got we got everybody feeling the spirit. We sent them off to school. Then Jack had an appointment because this guy made him an 8.30 Monday morning appointment. I think all Monday morning appointments should be illegal. There was ice. It was cold. I was fully intending on taking him, but I have been super sick. Been In sick. fact, I was just noticing. I'm like, I think I've been wearing these clothes since Friday, and I might be in several videos in this outfit. He <laughs> doesn't stink. I promise you that. He has showered. And so then after that happened, then we just had some weird emails. Like somebody, there must be, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's like these, um, I'm going to let this dry and I'll let, I'll just talk for a minute while it dries. But um, there's these websites. Do you want the heat gun? Yep. I told you not to steal it, but I'm not using it. I'll bring it. it back. There's websites out there that will bot, like scan your back end of your website and pull discount codes that are not meant to be public. Like we'll have discount codes that I give to friends and family or one time use, whatever. And somebody had used a discount code, which was somebody's name. And we had to email them and say, sorry, that code's not valid. And she's like, she was super mad about it and said our customer service is horrible. And Caitlin was like super nice to her. But I just don't think that people understand, like, if it's not a public discount code and you get it off of one of those sites, it's it's basically like like taking something that doesn't belong to you. It's not like we're trying to be mean. It's just it's like buying something that was stolen and yeah, using it because these back end websites, you look in discount code for this website or whatever, which maybe it's, not her fault. Not she her found fault, but that website it. did steal the code. So anyways, we dealt with that. That was weird. Never had that happen before. Deleted the code and we, we decided we have to mix up codes. Then we had somebody got confused and accidentally emailed us about an order from 2018 about shipping for it. They're like, like, hey, has this been delivered yet? four years ago so that was weird and then um we had another email that was weird and then i had like some spam call like they've been calling from different numbers saying that legal action is pending so i'm trying to get a hold of them and they like weird 
like uh well, and they kept calling my service. brother and leaving a message for him i'm like what even is this yeah and finally i just called them but they put me on hold for 14 minutes so i hung up so they called me back they're like well we'll send paperwork and then it's like they said it's from some bill from the early 2000s i'm like it's 2022 like it could be anything at this point like that was we we were uh I was like, I will take care of it, but don't be all sketch calling me from multiple numbers, leaving different reference numbers. Like, there's a lot of scams out there. You got to be careful. So that happened. Then we have some shipping boxes that went missing. And then there was something with an employee. Anyways, it was just the Mondayest Monday that ever existed. And this was all by like 11. Yeah. And I'm sorry, my voice is getting high, but it's just because I was, we ate breakfast. It's like Eliza, when you're like, Eliza, why are you yelling at me? She's like, I'm not yelling. I'm just really emotional right now. I was like, it was like noon and we were eating breakfast. We were wanting to do this live at like 10 o'clock this morning and that didn't happen. So I'm excited to be here. Anyway, painting. I've committed to uh, finishing up this live stream and going and taking a nap until I got to go milk buttercup. Yeah, we're, we're going to finish the kids' bathroom. That video. The, the bathroom is actually pretty much done. I have yeah. to finish fixing the buffet. The shower is in. The kids showered in it yesterday. Uh, everything's working good. All the trim's done. Can I have the? Can you push that over? I need Grace guys for this. Yes. So if you're just tuning in, we're doing this live to let everybody know the cottage colors is 15% off at JanuaryVintage.com, and you do not need a code. Tell your friends. We need to let the manufacturer know that we love this paint because we want new colors yep and more sizes more colors more sizes so we're going to be selling it till we are blue in the face and it's really good paint for thrift flips because if you guys are in the business you know you can't spend four million hours on a project that you're going to sell for 20 bucks because then you wind up working for 50 cents an hour and so what i love about the cottage colors is they go on really smooth they have a built-in sealer, so it just really eliminates a lot of steps. And you guys can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just painting this gray. Um, and the darker the color, the better the coverage, so keep that in mind. And it just goes on really good. And it's all natural, washes off your brush. We can get like a ton of projects done in an hour. So we're hopefully gonna get these all finished in this hour. I don't know how long- Well, we're I'm about to dark wax this and put it back together and I'll probably be, what, 15, 20 minutes on this clock? I've been talking a lot, but I'm also on my fourth thing. This is one coat. I want to, I'm going to bring this close. So you Debbie guys says can the see. paint is so good. So you guys right? can see. How so Debbie's good Design Diary is. makes cottage colors. They also make their clay based paint, which is also so good. And it's just been a huge opportunity for us because they came to us and said, Would you like to collaborate on this? And it's been an amazing experience. And we just love the paint. Look at that one coat over black, not even streaky. There's a little bit of streakiness on the handle. Um, but I'm probably going to distress that anyway, because the handle would have wear and maybe go around the edges real quick and then we'll be done. So Linda says the past debt one is an old bill. And if you pay anything, it becomes a real one. It's debt fishing. Don't even talk to them except to state you're going to file harassment against them. That's what I was thinking, because actually the one that the debt that they mentioned, I know I paid like so because what happens, I used to be in the loan industry many years ago before I left it for the junk industry. And what happens is. Now, if you have any trouble paying a bill, you don't pay it. The bigger companies sell it off and they get sold again and sold again and sold again. And then you pay one company, but they don't report it. Then it gets sold again. It's just like crazy. And it's from when we were young and broke. And I think really, because I haven't heard from them in forever. I think it's because we do pay our bills on time and we have good credit because we pay our bills on time. And they're like, oh, let's see if we can get some, some money out of them. So anyways. This is just going to be a light distress. I'm just hitting the edges. I'm not going to do anything on the body of it. Meaning like I'm not going to come over here and sc scrape off in the middle because even though this is 220 grit sandpaper, this paint is so fresh, it will kind of like peel off a little bit sometimes. Well, powder off. This paint doesn't really peel. That's what I love about it. It's got the built-in sealer and sometimes that can make paints peely, but this doesn't. It powders. Amy says that she just found this on the live on Monday and she's been watching the old videos and giving them thumbs up. Thank you. If you go on YouTube, we actually have over 1,400 videos now. Really? Does it count the shorts? Because that number could jump up real high if it does. Uh, Jamie does like two shorts a day just for funsies. I love it. It's addicting. <laughs> it's I'm like, like doing can... stories, but little videos that stay up there and they're kind of just fun. 
<laughs> we like really, really want to start doing the homesteading channel. And I think we're just going to do some shorts mixed in with some edited, like longer form cooking videos with recipes. Cause my, uh, my diet is such and Eliza's lactose intolerant and we just started eating really clean. We want to share that with you and what we're doing with the cow and the chickens and the sheep. <laughs> Zeb eats clean. I had Biscoff and milk in bed last night and I do every night. However, the milk was raw milk. So I'm almost getting, a you're mom. getting some points. I'm getting some points for that. All right. This is done and legit. Um, it's amazing coverage. So I'm going to leave that and that's probably going to get white dry brush and a distress. I'm thinking about coming out with a dark gray brown color. And then we also want to come out with a creamy color. And then I'm working on a dusty blue, like a medium shade because we can't go dark yet. Um, because they're waiting on them to I'm okay the dark I'm curious if they face. can do like red tones though. We got the pink. Well, I wanted to do like a rose color, like a dusty rose, like a middle, I don't know, and a yellow. Those are my top colors I want to add. All right. So this is, this is a JRV half inch stencil brush. Great for just getting the wax in the details where I want it. And I'm just going to put it on light here and then I'll come back before that even dries and be able to wipe that back and let it sit down in the cracks. Nice thing about this with the cottage colors, and you probably heard us mention it before if you're a regular watcher of the channel, um, is with the built-in sealer, I don't have to clear wax this to control the dark wax. I can just put it on here, go, oh my gosh. and then... Sorry. Then wipe it back and get the result I want. Let me put a little around the hinges. A little around this knob. Sorry. <laughs> You're on Instagram. Sorry about that. Like, you listen. Someone going crazy. Rashana says, Dusty. Yeah, all he wants for Christmas is, I won't repeat it, but like, I promise you, I've had five kids and you don't want to see that. All right. I'm going to get to the next. Dusty Rose are my favorites, but not the peachy salmon color. Yeah. So, this actually, the pink is a peach undertone, but it's not salmon. But the Dusty Rose will not be a salmon. I'm just wanting to come out with some medium tones. I'm going to teach you guys a trick. Are you guys ready? Let me get my glue gun and my wood glue. We love to use construction adhesive, but sometimes my hand doesn't love like squeezing that gun. So what I do is I use hot glue in the middle. I'm sure this is not news to you if you've been crafting for a while. Hot glue is not a good permanent. If somebody else joined that says something they shouldn't, just know that I'm going to come for you on the gram. Okay, wood glue, because it's easy to use around the edge and the hot glue will hold the wood glue until it dries. Because uh, hot glue really is something that can peel off easy. So you don't want to use it like a permanent well, it, glue. It keeps hardening up as it goes and sometimes it loses its adhesion. So I'm just gonna hold this until the hot glue dries and holds this in place. And the hot glue will almost work like a clamp and it will clamp this IOD rosette that we made last week on here, and then I can paint it. There we go. All right, so since this is pretty think, well oh, nice and dry. Up. Don't move. Don't move it after you hot I'm glue I'm going to show you a trick, but don't move it. Don't move it after you hot glue it. I moved it, and now the hot glue isn't working. See? Let me try again. Oh, Shan. Yeah, you hear Shan honking. Shan just honked at us. No, she shan't. She honked at the other neighbor. She's outside doing oh. her driveway. So does that look middle? Does that look middle? Yep. Okay. Middle-ish. Ooh, your hair tickled me. <laughs> I know. My hair's big today. So this is going to stay on here. I'll let it dry for a little bit, and then I can paint it. Denise, your screen is black. I don't think everybody else's is. It might just be you. Are these all new colors? I thought I have seen you use before. These, these are not are, new colors. These are not new. We're working on some new colors. They're on sale is what they are right now. They're new to sale. And it's never happened in DIY paint. So you got to get them while they're on sale. 15% off at jamierayvintage.com for all the cottage color. And if we want new colors, we got to sell a lot of these colors. That's how that works. Do I have anything else to paint? Just that, huh? Is, did we paint, paint all the things? Yeah. Oh, what I needed to do was a wash on this. I That's was yours. looking at it and looking at it, and there's a couple. I was hurrying so fast. There's a couple streaky spots on my copper. If you didn't watch Saturday night's video, we painted this towards the end, 
And what I want to do is put a whitewash over it, kind of eliminate some of that streakiness because it's all nice and cured now. So I don't think I can wet distress it. It's 15% off, not 50. Sorry if it sounded like 50. No, it's 15% 15. 15 off. 15, one five. So this actually is, the nice thing about the cottage colors is there are a lot of basics and then you can make different ones from that. This paint in this jar is half paint blue, half vintage mint. I used it in the video from last Friday and I saved it in a canning jar because we have a million canning jars because we can, we home can food here. And then I'm just gonna use it till it's gone. But it's such a pretty mix and I think it will make this a lot springier. Springier? Is that a word? Springier? I, I, were, I, I knew what you meant. It's gonna make it springier because we're Works for me. a few weeks from January and this olive color is too close to the boxwood color that's on the top. Spring actually doesn't happen until like May 30th around here. That's when we can officially oh, really? plant and be for out me, of it risk. it happens January 1st. Be out of risk of frost. <laughs> but, and I've still seen it snow in June. I probably should drop the link to the paint. Sorry if I haven't done that yet. If you go to jamierayvintage.com, just click the sale collection. It's all in there. If you can't find it, let me know and I'll drop it. I think Caitlin was on here, but she had to pop out. And the other thing about if you check our sale collection often, we have like random things that go on sale in the store. About once a week, I go through and find some things that I need to clear out and I'll add them to that list. We'll try I'm to go. Putting go this back on here so you won't be able to see me, but it's got like this little rubber seal that goes around it. We'll try to go live on Thursday at the shop because we're going to be there working on some farm chores anyways. So we like to do shop tours on Thursday. Not missing the snow and cold. Where do you live, Jackie? Did everyone go to IG? No, there's only like eight people watching us on Instagram. But I'm going to keep going live on Instagram and maybe we'll, we'll grow. We'll see. Sometimes you got to try things for a while. All right, this is the one where I just used the hot glue and the wood glue. If I hadn't hot glued it, this little rosette would be sliding all over the place. But the yeah, hot glue is able to paint it right now. The hot glue is really holding it in place. And as long as you hit it super hard, it'll hold it until the wood glue dries, and then the wood glue will keep it a more permanent. You'd probably adhesion. be waiting at least an hour waiting for that. Yeah, ain't nobody got wood time to dry for an up hour. enough to be able to paint that. This is nice and dark too, the vintage mint and the paint loop. So one color, it's going to be covered, and then I will distress it. And oh, you got your it. mix out. Yeah, I got to use it up. This little mix is going to last me like 800 thrift flips. <laughs> they're, they don't take very much paint. So right now, the cottage color only comes in a pint, which is like a really good middle of the ground amount of paint. A dresser is probably going to take you two pints. You could do a chair to two chairs with a pint. You could paint about, I don't know, 10 little thingy bobbers with a pint, maybe more. Depends on how big they are. Oh, Jackie just moved to Vegas. Um, are you familiar with A2 beta casein lactose-free milk? So we have A2 A2 milk because we have a Jersey cow. And so that's why we... Yes, Not are. all Jerseys are that way. You got to get them tested, but most. But ours is. And so my daughter, who's lactose intolerant, can tolerate it. And Zeb makes cheese. We do yogurt. We're trying to figure out sour you cream, guys. butter. You want to show me your butter? Yes. He's so proud. And my cheese that I vacuum sealed, like it looks all profesh. Oh, so this is, this is like fresh mozzarella and I vacuum sealed it. It's probably, it was made with fresh milk. It did get cooked in the cheese process. It's not raw, but it's But fresh. I would probably say we're only gonna, like this is probably only good for about two weeks vacuum sealed. And oh, then it's we'll, probably that good for a lot longer than that. You think sealed. so, huh? Oh yeah. Well, yeah. We're, we're gonna eat it fast anyway because that's what we're eating for our cheese. And then my butter, I finally figured out what I was doing wrong. I was whipping it and then with the whisk setting on my, uh, on the KitchenAid and it was getting all foamy and crumbly. So I put the, uh, the beater bar in there, like what you're going to use to mix up like dough. And that did a much better job, was able to just rinse this real easy. And this is what Eliza uses, or if Jamie's going to make cookies or whatever that Eliza can eat without any, uh, of uh, the other uh, butter, so that's that's for her. But anyway, <laughs> side note: you're going to get a little bit of uh, painting and uh, randomly what should be on the other channel that hasn't started yet. <laughs> Janina says that I have Christy Lunsford hair. Christy has Jamie Ray hair. Just kidding. 
I have had the high messy bun for a while. It's actually a little higher than normal. But I was at the shop and Maria's like, how do you do that? I'm like, let me show you. So I ripped my hair out. There we go. We weren't, we weren't, <laughs> I don't know how long was them. the camera there with the bars. Um, anyway, so this can be grated or sliced. And then I've never, the oh, butter sorry. is just regular old butter. Super excited about it because it's taken me a little while to get my processes down. Somebody said, are you like, how do you feel about E6000? It's okay, but the smell is really obtrusive. So I don't really like to use E6000. I prefer, and wood glue, Zeb's a carpenter. We buy this stuff by the gallon. So we just, it's like one of those things we always have. And I always have hot glue. So it's kind of my go-to is the, but you could probably do E6000. We and, really do like E6000, but lately we've been using the Gorilla Glue construction adhesive. Um, and that works really well to hold things in place in about five, 10 minutes. You can actually start painting and doing whatever you're going to do. Oh, did you already dark wax that? Yep. Yeah. I was over here with my big bun and I didn't even see it. So because this has a built in top coat, cause somebody asked on the ground, um, you do not have to do anything before you dark wax, you just let it dry. And then you can put dark wax over cottage color, wipe it back. If we were painting it over DIY paint, sweet pickings, any paint that needs to be sealed, then you would want to do a clear wax or a clear coat sealer before the dark wax. Because what happens is paint that's really porous, that doesn't have a built-in sealer, it accepts too much dark wax and it just looks like dirty poop smear. And you, nobody wants that. So always make sure there's some sort of barrier between the paint and the wax. In this case, the barrier is already there because it's a built-in top coat and cottage color. So hopefully that answers your question and makes sense. Debbie says, I'm coming for your dairy products. They look so good. I have cow envy. Um, if we filmed what we what Deb has to do every day, I don't know if people have Oh, man. Envy. She's she's a hot mess. And it's she cold was so and sweet when we first got her down the hill a month ago and just stood there at the fence. And she's been flexing her freedom muscles. I think she was, I, I don't know if she was kept in pasture, but she's got a quarter acre that she can roam around on, which. It's winter right now, so there's no grass back there because we hadn't watered it all summer. And if you don't water places out west where we live, it's just dirt. Well, and we had a drought, so. Yeah, so we'll water it in the spring and she'll get some grass growing out there, just weeds and stuff, and she'll love it. Um, but I don't think she had that much room before. And so she's flexing her independent muscles and she doesn't love to be standing still by the fence like she did for the first three weeks I milked her. And so I built a stanchion, which is like a, like a, it's basically like a milking stall kind of, that's where she gets her grain and holds her still. Um, and she hasn't been loving that. So she's been kicking at the buckets and kicking the milking machine attachments off. She the, broke one of the, the claws machines. off. She broke it. She's like, so I've her. been having to like sit there. Normally I would, she was so good for a while. I could just leave her there milking and go feed the chickens and the sheep and do all the other chores and scoop some poo and stuff, you know, all the fun <laughs> farm things. And, but now I have to stay with her the whole time. So it's taking like an hour and a half to do my evening chores over there. And I got to get something figured out. Cause if, if you think milking the cow every day is tedious, doing it for an hour and a half is even more, uh, more fun. So. <laughs> but what did you come home to yesterday? Oh, delicious potato soup and homemade bread. So usually while Zeb's doing that, I'm so grateful that I'm not over there that I usually make him dinner. So he's usually happy about that. Um, somebody asked, could they just put clear wax where they wanted to put the dark wax? Yes and no, because if it's a paint that requires a sealer, you need to seal the whole thing anyways. So you probably should do clear wax everywhere and just dark wax where you want the dark wax because you have to seal the paint. So hopefully that answers your question. Um, and if you want to use like our little, uh, you're going to get different sheens if you don't. Yeah. It, you'll definitely be able to see where the clear wax is. If you want to just use one of the little JRV stencil brushes for wax and you wanted to also use it for like, um, stenciling with paint, just use very warm water and dish soap to clean it in between. And you can use it back and forth. Just be careful because wax is notoriously hard to get up, but I have been able to go back and forth on stenciling. No problem. Now, if you're painting a piece of furniture and trying to use that as a wax brush, like with lots of paint, I wouldn't do that. But on the little stencil brushes, it's easy to get all the wax off. You okay. see that pretty good? <clears throat> Sorry, that was a lot of information. It's okay. I was just showing them my clock. Sorry, I'm just gonna sit here painting my thing pink. 
and now it's all in. It's done. I mean, I feel like that was half an hour, but I probably could have done it faster if we weren't filming. It always takes a little bit longer to film, but it's boring to paint by yourself. It feels like work. And if I'm like live painting, then it feels like fun. So when I'm by myself, I always just throw on my favorite YouTube channel and watch all the stuff they've been doing because I usually don't have much time to just watch anything on TV. So that's my go-to. I don't really watch TV shows. All right. Two coats with the vintage pink, and it's pretty much full coverage on my little watering can. Can you guys see the pink a little bit more now? I think you can. Um, and it will dry darker. So if you're used to DIY paint, that's going to dry lighter and then you seal it and it gets dark again. Whereas the cottage color goes on light and when the sealer that's built in dries, it gets a little bit darker. Boy, that's stuck on there. Clock is great. I think the clock is good. I think Kimmy's going to like it. So it was black before and we probably could have got the reverse by doing a white wax on there or either, even, either, even color tinting the... Um, the wax and doing like a gray or something on that black. But I feel like the, the gray really makes all the details and the few um, architectural details on there that it had. I feel like it makes it pop out. I was actually thinking, speaking of colors of paint and eggs. Um, oh, it's snowing. Like the sun's out and it's snowing. It's supposed to all day. We have the prettiest chicken egg that's like a rosy pink color. Maybe I should just use that and get it color matched. You're like, can you match this egg? <laughs> yeah, like, can you color we're just going to send you the egg can you color match it here i'll show you guys it's hard to see it on camera i feel like it doesn't pick it up oh. but i've never had a pink colored oh. egg before <gasps> well we got to eat that one <laughs> it's all right we eat that's like gonna be lunch today. oh for lunch i was gonna have leftover potatoes i'm gonna soup. wash it i love soups in the winter time because you can use like meat that needs to be eaten up or veggies that are starting to not go bad, but maybe turn a little bit and you can make yummy soups. I put uh, bone broth in the soup yesterday because bone broth is really good for you when you don't feel good. It's even better than chicken broth. And we've had the yuckies in our house for weeks and weeks, just like, just keeps on going. I'm like, one day I'm gonna wake up without a runny nose and I won't know what to do with myself. It'll be Tangela nice. says, isn't it awesome to get a pink egg? We get one every now and then. It's one of our new layers. So I think. She's laying these little small eggs. These actually don't I look pink now that I wiped them off. Is, that's not the pink one, is it? No, that's not it. Yeah, they are. No. They were pink. No, the pink one is. Well, one is speckled. They're from different birds. One is speckled. I think I ate the pink you, oh, one. Oh, you can see kind of it's, it's more pinkish here. Let me see. Look on camera. Look over there. Oh, yeah. No, those look brown on camera. This one's brown and speckled, and this one's... It's getting pink as it dries up. I had it wet. Oh, okay. We get all different colors now because I ordered different color layers. But that would be... We might we might get... You guys might get some egg-colored colors. Egg... As they start laying. Well, we've got, like, this bird that's laying in olive color. Look how... I'm going to show you guys because it's <laughs> monstrous. We're such... We're such nerds. We love... Like, it is so exciting. When I eat a meal, I like to count, like... What came from my garden? What came from the cow? What came from the chicken? Like the garden. The kids are getting gone, upset because but... we uh, we don't have like any quick grab and go foods, and we used to only have those. Kind there of are things. there are Dino nuggets in the freezer. We don't want. So guys, legit, start. I was looking for a dead chicken when I found this egg. Look how it, it's, it's like a it doesn't look big yogurt. until I put it next to a regular egg. Once you wash the eggs, you do have to refrigerate it, but we'll eat these. Can you see? I'm thinking it might be a triple yoker, but that's a pretty kind of olivey color egg too. So Debbie says, if it gets too dingy when I'm using dark wax, I dry brush after the dark wax. Yeah, we do that too, Debbie. Um, especially if it's home decor. I don't really like to paint over wax, but I'll wipe off as much of it as possible. And then if it's home decor, I'm not really worried about it. And I will put, especially the cottage colors, I'll just paint it right over the top. Don't be alarmed. I'm going to use this old Pyrex that's been microwaved and uh, it's fine. And put through the dishwasher. I already told people I use dishwasher dried dried Pyrex for crafting for my water. Okay, so let me see if I can show you. I got distracted by the eggs there for a minute. I'm sorry. I apologize. This is a painting show. 
not really. It's a painting show that occasionally involves. So right here, eggs. you see how there's like some streakiness where I didn't wipe it and blend it good. It got too dry on me before I wiped it off. There's a couple spots like that where it's thin because I literally just put one thin coat of gray skies, one thin coat of vintage mint, and then one thin coat of the the uh, patina, and then a little bit of dark wax here and there. I'm not going to really sweat the dark wax. What comes off will come off, and that's going to be okay. But I want to get rid of some of this streaky look, so I'm going to give it a good whitewash. Not a dry brush, different. But the cottage colors in... I can never remember. White linen. I always just think of my mom's perfume she wore forever before she got yeah. diagnosed with COPD. But see, I don't remember that. So. Yeah, my mom didn't wear it as much since you've been around. But when I was a little girl, man, if I smell white linen, I think of my mom. All right, so I'm just going to use two dips in my brush. I probably got, I want to say, two to three ounces of water in this little dish. Don't worry, no Pyrex was harmed in the making of this urn. It's getting harmed right now. The Pyrex is going to get it. We usually eat our cereal. That's why it's important to use all natural products because you never know when we're going to use kitchen utensils and bowls and whatnot. Oh, I might have gone too, too watery on that. It's just running off. I'm pretty sure there's a little bit of paint and a lot of love in every bread loaf there we I go. make. So I dipped back in the paint. It was too watery. It was just sheeting off of there because it was already sealed and slick. We're getting there with this. This is two coats on this, and I will have to paint the back, even though it's probably going to be. So my wash was too thin. Watch out for that. If you're having this problem, your wash is too thin, you can just come back in here. I used to never paint the backs of things, but I do it more and more. I don't know why. Jan says we like egg talk. That's good because I love eggs. I eat eggs almost every day of my life. You know, <clears throat> most cities, check with your city, will allow hens because they're considered a domestic animal. Well, Roosters nice are not. So if you want birds, I would wager that you can have, usually most cities, Lehigh is up to five depending on where you live. And the space. And, and how much property you have. Um, but you can have them, you can have hens and have fresh eggs and they're so easy. Like you just, you feed them, you give them all your table scraps cause they're omnivores. They will eat whatever you throw out there. Literally. Um, it's so eco-friendly to be able to throw them your scraps too. Like, and then you can they, use... they actually thrive on it. They're not like dogs where they get like overweight and it's bad for their joints. If you're giving them table scraps. Yeah. All right. And their teeth and their breath. <laughs> Chickens, they just eat it all. Reclaiming the bluegrass says, I only way I eat eggs is in my desserts. Hey. Heck yes. I made bread pudding with a bunch of bread. that I had made too much bread, and so I had some go stale, which doesn't happen very often. And I made bread pudding for the Christmas party on Saturday at church, and everybody, like, loved it. I was like, you guys are getting stale bread, but do you know why they loved it? Because it was soaked in eggs and cream. <laughs> and covered in Zeb's caramel sauce he makes with maple syrup and coconut sugar and butter. All right, just see if there's any more questions. There's no. I think I'm gonna heat gun this. You wanna pass stuff over and I'll heat gun it and then we can get ready to do, are yeah. you doing transfers on these or are we gonna stencil them? So this them? needs transfers, but I think that there's, it needs like, there's a little few spaces with touch up, but I think I could do those later. So yeah, these need to be heat gun and I'm gonna put transfers. That one over there that I did with the vintage mint and hate blue can just air dry. I'll get the transfers ready. Yeah, we also save, like if we're cooking, we save all of our leftover um, vegetable scraps. And when we're cleaning, like we just cleaned out the fridge and we dropped all that stuff off to them too. Feed is getting expensive, which is why eggs are getting more expensive because feed is going up. So I feed sneeze. is actually double what it was last spring. It's not quite double. We weren't paying under 10 bucks a bag for chicken feed. No, I got some on sale for like $9.95. Oh, sad day. It's like $18 now. I mean, it was on sale, but. Anyway, so we try to supplement that with scraps. Debbie said the term go suck an egg comes from the idea that eating a raw egg can help immediately lift a bad mood. 
People put raw eggs in their coffee. That's interesting. Homesteaders do it. Raw well, eggs, I mean, if you're eating it straight out of the shell, you're probably not going to get anything bad because there's no... Don't tell people that. I'm just stating facts. I don't want to be... I, I already got, like, people calling me on some credit card from early 2000. I don't need people suing me because I told them to eat raw eggs. <laughs> Keeps it crazy. It's funny because in England, we, like... You could buy eggs anywhere. People sell them on the side of the road. I'm like, aren't they worried about like people coming after them? And then we stayed at Airbnbs and they left us their like fresh eggs from their chickens. And I was like, I feel like if we ever did an Airbnb, I'd have to make people sign a display. What disclosure? Yeah. This just... says they understand they're eating eggs from chickens that have not been tested because I mean, we're not a manufacturing plant. Let's see. All right, so to give you an idea, while Zeb's getting that this finished up. This is just up, looking white over there now. I'm going to go fix that camera yeah, real quick. Yeah, while Zeb's getting that finished up, I'm going to give you the idea. I'm pricing. The clock was $10. This urn was $5. The You keep getting paint on my shelf. I'm just trying to help you. The shelf was $1.50. The topiary was $1. These were $1.50 each, and that wall pocket was $2. And they're going to sell anywhere from like pink $12.95 all the way up to like the urn will go for $69.95. I think this is somewhere in the $30 range. I'd have to look up the pricing to be sure. But that gives you an idea of thrift flips because a lot of people say, oh, you can't buy thrifted items and make a profit on them. I'm here to tell you like you can. You can do it. But also savings too. Like if you're just doing it for your own home decor, you get a little bit of paint and uh, want to switch up some of the stuff you've already got you know maybe you've had it five six seven years it's not really going with your current vibe you just paint it i'm not sure that's better where are you going with that i'm going to wipe it back okay. i just needed it dry i'm going to give it a heavy like wipe back before okay. it cures hard so somebody and asked if totally Tant we don't have to agree tangela said have we tried eggnog i actually don't like eggnog so i'm probably not going to try it but Zeb, do you like eggnog? I can't say that I've ever really had it much. Oh, Caitlin is back in town. She's dropping a link. The metting, the metal ceiling tin shelf is $36.95. Raw eggs, Debbie says, are super helpful if you know the eggs are fresh. Ours are fresh because I have heard the eggs in the store are uh, <laughs> um, up to a month old when you get them. We eat eggs within a week what we do is we like put eggs in the basket and then after a certain date then we put eggs somewhere else so then we know those eggs are no longer older than whatever date and then the fridge all of our milk we put the date on it so then we know what day it was milk and we usually don't drink raw milk any later than four or five days past if we get to where it's like five days and we still have a lot of milk we will make cheese or give it away and then we always give away people the fresh like two people the fresher milk because I never know how long it's going to take them to drink it. Debbie says that she will sign and stay in our Airbnb. <laughs> she take all she's the like, eggs and She's milk. like, hey, can I go get my own eggs and I'm going to milk the cow too? I don't think Debbie's ready for that. <laughs> I don't think she has a cow milking outfit. Debbie's a lot of things, but you she can... would be out there in some really cute little boots and some overalls with embroidered flowers on it. And then all of her rings and jewelry. Buttercup so is cute. really sweet. She just gets really excited for her grain and, but you like, you can lead her around on a lead and just she'll walk wherever you're going. She was in the garden the other day and we still, I'm, I'm purposely not pulling out all of the, the old plants and things because we're going to put the sheep and chickens over there here. Probably it'll probably be after Christmas, honestly, cause that's when I'll have time, but we're going to give them a better coop situation. Um, now that we have more birds there, they need like better perching. Disclaimer, Zeb has poopy uh, overalls that I got to wash today. My that car hearts wearing, that he's Jamie. He's wearing his car hearts for like six days and they need to wash. Yeah. But anyway, Buttercup's really sweet. She just gets excited when it's time to get her grain. She does. I get excited when it's time to eat too. 
In fact, this morning I was sad that we didn't have tacos yesterday because I really wanted tacos. Okay, I'm liking it better. I feel like it needs more copper. Like Does it you need, need more copper like now? Like just hit it a few spots so it's shiny. I brought it out. But can I have my heat gun back? Yep, you didn't ask for it. I've been over here just doing stuff. I didn't know you needed it. Debbie says she loves eggnog. Just, I don't know. I love milk, so I just drink a lot of that. All right, well, I'm going to set this aside for a minute, let that dry up, and then we'll hit it with a little bit of, little bit of copper on a very small brush. That way I can really control it. What was your plan with this shelf that I got some white splatter on? What? Um, just sorry. dark wax? No, it needs to be distressed. Okay. And sorry, it's still a little, it's got wet paint. Distressed and then a white, like, dry brush on the details. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, look, it does look good, but I feel like it needs more copper, and then you'll be, I was going to say then you'll be golden, but I guess then you'll be copper. Yeah, Pennies from Heaven is my go-to. I like the golden ticket too, but Pennies from Heaven, for whatever reason, is thicker and I'm lazy. And so I'm all about better coverage. <laughs> if I want like a shimmering metallic and not full coverage, then I love golden ticket for that. This is 220 sandpaper. Careful with higher grits than that or lower grits than that. Like if you go down to 120 or 100 or 80 grit, you can get real bad streakies, like scratches looking in your distress. Hey, nobody be wanting scratchy distress. All right, this is mostly dry. Let it cool down, and then we can put a transfer on it. Debbie says she ate a five-egg omelet while she was here. Probably. It was a five-egg omelet because I asked her how big she wanted it. <laughs> Debbie loves someone that will cook for her. I'll tell you that right now. There are any single men out there that are Christian and love Jesus and dress well and like to cook. That's like Debbie's dream. Guy also, right I here. would say you need to be pretty handy. Oh, yeah. Also handy. Let's add that to the list. And you got to be like, OK, with a strong woman, because Debbie can she can handle her business. I don't know. I feel like that got where I didn't want it. What? Um, what? What happened? Why is it streaky? I think my brush is too wet still. There is a dry brush. I did. No, like a dry a brush brush that's not been wet. Oh no, I got it. I got it dry. No, that's why it's doing that. It's like, man, why is this going streaky like this? It's too wet. What happens when we're I just leave adding it? some wet distress to it? Does the paint frost frosting work in Golden Ticket? I would guess that it would because it has a built-in sealer and the. Uh, Cottage colors, it works in that, but it, cottage colors sets up fast. So if you put it in the golden ticket, you best be prepared. And it kind of gets chunky. So only if you wanted golden texture, you couldn't like smooth it out because it has that built in top coat and it just doesn't like go on smooth. All right, there was actually a lot. Barbara, I missed your questions. A few questions back. You'll have to ask again on here, or maybe if Caitlin sees them, she can answer them. Sorry about that. I've got. 300 people on YouTube and Facebook and 12 people on Instagram. Okay, got a dry brush. This one, still, I, I thought it was dry, and then I squeezed it, and foamy water came out. So. I, was, I was right. You are right. What? Tell, tell your sister. Shh. You are right. All right, Barbara, I'm watching. Barbara on YouTube. Give me those questions again. No, right, I'm going to let you do it. It's still not doing what I want. You got that Debbie, light, you got you that light to touch. Debbie's got back at Cedros at the OG DIY paint location. I hope she's taking a nap after all that yeah. work getting that set up. They're open right now on Cedros Avenue in Solana Beach on Saturdays and Sundays. I hope she's just chilling out, answering emails and relaxing. Debbie ain't relaxing. She's getting ready for the new paintbrush release. I need to sell lots and lots of cottage colors so I can buy lots and lots of Debbie's new paintbrushes. All right. Yes. 
Did that already have that detail on there? Or did you mold that on? No, it was already on there. You couldn't tell because it was yucky brown color. I didn't even notice it on That's there. why I said that this was going to be so good once Are it was Are you going to go dark wax on there? So no, it's like all the I have to do brown? is distress it and bring back the brown base coat, and it's going to be good. Well, I'm done messing around with this. I'm going to let you do the rest of what you want to do with The that. white dry brush? Yeah, know? you're the pro. I'm... All right. It's not coming well, out how I want. What do you want on these? The, if those are dry, you can go ahead and put transfers while I white dry brush that. Okay. This transfer needs to be cut down. Oh, I need a transfer stick. Hopefully we have one. I had one in my pocket the other day. She had one in her pocket and it was, it had fallen. We were at the basketball game watching Odelia cheer. It had, the transfer stick had fallen out of her pocket and was sitting there on the bleachers. And I'm like, well, odds are pretty good that this is yours. Yeah. Ain't <laughs> nobody else traveling around with an IOD transfer stick. Um, so another question, what color am I using? This is vintage pink cottage colors and it will dry a super light ballerina pink with a vintage peachy kind of undertone it's not a baby pink i don't know if you guys can see it still looks pretty bright on camera but in li real life it is the softest prettiest pink i get so many compliments on it and i'm super excited to do like a pink and kissing booth with white with maybe a little um marquee display in the shop so i want to start painting things those colors um, you might have had the Valentine's only stick. Day? What? You may have had the only transfer stick in your pocket. You could use a spoon. All right, did somebody? Oh, thank you, Caitlin. She needed a retailer, and um, uh, Caitlin dropped a link. And I did not see that, so I'm glad that Caitlin caught that. Do, are we out of scissors up here too? There's been a lot of crafting. A lot of, see if they're in the wrapping station. Wrapping. We have a wrapping station over there. What happened to the white dry brush? You got it all off? I wiped it off. It was just barely on there. There are scissors over here. Well, did you get this paint watered down when you were... No, my, maybe. When you were doing your little white wash situation over I'm there? I worry about my white wash situation. You know what? Instead, I think I'm just going to hit the details here. Nope, that's not going to work. Light dry brush it is. I don't know what you've been doing. But let's see. Right. Yeah. I can get it. You got that. Okay. I always like to dry brush along the detail and the edge. Sorry, you guys probably can't see I'm gonna that. I'm going to have to cut off a little bit of this stamp. That's kind of sad. That's okay. Sometimes you got to cut things to fit. So I always want to bring out that. And then I just go across it. And I'm bringing out the detail just by doing that. So sorry, I got to turn it towards me and then I'll turn it around. Sometimes it's hard to paint towards the camera, but I wanted you guys to kind of see where I was headed with that. I don't have a transfer stick, so I'm using an old piece of lath I found over there. You are resourceful, Zebra. It's going to work, I think. So I like to dry brush both directions. Can it look all right? Yes. See, I don't know what I was doing, but I was getting it like down in like that clamshell looking design. Where it's all I did in the wrist. Want it. See, you got to do this. It's it all in the is wrist. in the wrist. Ta da! Oh, that's just going to peel right on off for me. Oh, lost a little on the corner up here. That's okay. If you transfer rips, just go back down and push. Well, we are not waiting it. the recommended amount of time. I would let it sit for a few hours first, but this is live TV. Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, I lost more over here. <laughs> If you're doing transfers at home, just let it dry a couple hours. You don't have to put a top coat or anything now over the top crackle. of it. It's got next level design elements. So I didn't cut this crooked. It's actually on the transfer a little crooked and I feel okay about that. Well. Fun little watering can ready for some floral in you your want window. To show them that up close. It's all done. Hold on. Are you distressing this at all? I would recommend some tasteful yes. distressing. Tasteful distress. I'm going to let it dry some more. It needs more paint on the handle. So that probably will not. I'm 
that probably will not uh, get distressed on this live stream because I really want to let it dry really well. And I have a few spots that I totally miss with paint, like completely. All right. You said you had the copper out. Yeah, it's right there. All right, little watering can. You're going to sit over here. That is so cute. You guys, look how cute that is. I feel like when you put the transfer on it, it really made the pink stick out. Oh, I didn't transfer this one. What I can do that. What do you want on this one? Um, I was actually thinking about doing, so that is from something melange. What is that transfer from IOD called? The one that's a little package? You know I can't keep track of all of their. What transfer is that? It's the ephemeral. That's I can't that even is. keep track of the stuff. There's so many products and so many like paint lines with different names of things. I can't. I'm like, that's blue. That's gray. That's a light green. This is the English twall, I believe, is what this transfer is called. And I'm just going to cut out a little sheepy. I mean, maybe that's bad of me, but that's where I'm at with the name. It's all right. Nobody. I mean, sometimes you. I can't even remember the kids' names. I just look at them until they answer. They're like, what? What do you want, Dad? I'm like, yes, you. <laughs> all right. So I'm just going to use, I love to save all my transfer scraps because you never know when you're going to need a random little sheep. All right. What did you put this on with? Oh, you need, you need the last my stick. last scrap. I bet stick. if I looked around. Don't go over though, because it will scratch your paint because it's so fresh. All right. Let's see if I can use Zeb's makeshift. Oh yeah, it's working. Yeah, sure. Just Great. need to press it down good. Remember back when Prima used to make IOD's transfers and they sucked? Now that, well, they didn't suck, but they weren't as good. Now that IOD makes their own, they go on so much better than those old Prima transfers. No offense, Prima. Maybe they've improved, but these are so much better. Like, they just go on like butter, even paint that's fresh. I'll show this I stuff mean, to you. I mean, tell me how you really feel. That's how I really feel. I told you this was the Mondayest Monday ever. So you're only getting real Jamie Ray. No sugar coating it. This is so cute, you guys. I never knew I wanted a pink watering can with a sheep on it until now. Oh, the recording has stopped. On what? On that. Oh, one it's not going to focus. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, it's focusing a little bit. It's trying. Yeah, can you fix that? All right, now it's all dark. I laid. I made it dark. Oh, okay. It's because no one's sitting in front of it. So dang cute right now. I have that greenery, so we'll stage it up with that in the shop unless they sell. I love these pink watering cans. All right. So this is almost a dry brush on my copper. I really am just lightly going over the details, hitting some of the high spots here, and bringing some of that copper back. I should just claim, like, I don't know if Prima's up their game. I When IOD left them, I got, you know how when people get a breakup, some you get somebody in the breakup, you get the husband or the wife. I got IOD, and I haven't looked back. So I don't know what they're doing. All right, I got a few drippy dues here. I'm going to do the very official finger smear method. Thanks, Lisa. She said the can is cute. So that is the English twall. It's like pages and pages of that. I wouldn't buy it just to do one little thing, but it's so cute on furniture. And then you can use your little scrappy do leftovers for your thrift lips. This, I think I inadvertently created a pretty decent looking verdigris with the vintage mint underneath and the gray skies looking all dark underneath there. And then the white gave it kind of like a drippy uh, oxidation. Did you add look. more copper to just the front? No, I added it all around. I think you need to hit the high spots. I did already. No, like along the edges. Oh, you want more. And like right here. Well, just tell me you right want here. more. I want more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm. All right. I'm going to wet. I'm going to distress this. It's not wet distress. 220. Hit the edges. And this has a lot of like detail, so it'll distress good. Sometimes when things are flat, I don't like the way they distress, but this has so much good detail. I'll show it to you up close. It's good. And the little, look how cute these little feet are since I painted them. That is the cure to the Monday Monday is a painting Monday. 
makes me happy. Okay, so where the IOD transfer was, I am not going to distress that because that's white, but I will come back with a dark wax to bring out the detail. I'm just gonna distress around it. Remember, that's where I use the hot glue in the middle and the wood glue around the edge. The wood glue is still totally wet, but that hot glue dried and is holding that on. So with this little brush, I am dry brushing and getting occasional little streaky brush stroke. I'm just taking my thumb and mushing that out. Your fingers are amazing painting tools. Don't be afraid to they're use your, them. They're your best tools, honestly. I have the sweetest little boy that likes to sit on my lap or next to me during church on Sunday. And he has like autism. So like he notices textures or things that are out of place. And he will sit there on Sunday and for an hour while we're having our sacra meeting and talks and everything. He's four years old. He will sit still and pick the paint off of my hands. It's like an activity to him. <laughs> and luckily I have lots of paint on my hands, so it keeps them occupied. Well, it's right after the Saturday thrift haul and you haven't usually had time to soak. Yeah, I've showered, but I have not washed it all off. Okay, so I'm using dark wax. Can I grab that towel over there? On where my IOD medallion resin situation is. And it's going to bring out the detail. And then I'm also going to dark wax under this edge. And whenever I'm waxing, I like to go up and down so I don't have a straight line. Because otherwise it looks weird. And then I'm going to wax these feet because they need some detail. All right, I think I'm calling it right there. It's shiny, bright. Let me see. The copper, I where like I it. got the copper is good. You did good, It's like Zeb. blended. Oh, missed a spot right there. Did you just use your spit? Shh, don't worry about it. It'll all... The DNA only. will be dry by the time you get it. <laughs> all right. I'm going to dark wax this whole thing, but I want to show you up close. This is half um, paint blue, half vintage mint. Oops. And then I used the... Let me see if I can get that. There we go. Then I used the dark wax to bring out the detail. And I did the detail on the feet. And then it just distressed... I think it looks pretty good. I do need to make sure that the glue is all the way dry because it's pooching out a little bit. So I will come back later and add more dark wax if I is have to. Is this our last project? I'm gonna heat gun that, you can distress it. And I think we will yeah. be on our way to nap time. Pro tip, if you are like, oh, that looks a little streaky with wax. I, you can come back after you waxed it and do a little bit of distress. I do it all the time, especially on decor. I got this thing front and center, sorry. Move that off to the side. So, yes, Cottage Colors are 15% off until Friday. No code needed. If you're local, you can pick them up in the shop, and then you don't have to pay shipping. We have – it's until supplies last, but we have lots of good inventory on it. So. Yeah, I invested a lot of money in the sale. I was like, listen, peeps are going to go crazy because it's a new, fun product, and – DIY paint never goes on sale. So it's not like Kohl's that has a different sale every dang weekend or t Sears. Me and my mom used to, or pennies. We used to joke, we're like, pennies is having another sale because they had literally a sale every week. Ooh, that metal got hot. And I am going to distress these cute pink little um, watering cans too. Just I'm going to wait for about an hour. I really want to let them dry because that surface was super slick and I don't want to mess around. I do. I am going to paint the back of this off camera too. Yeah, we usually paint them once the front is done drying. Oh, they said your project looks better now that you made the camera darker. This we'll one? show you the shelf and the clock that we did too. Basically, we did a little over an hour. We did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven little projects, and we were busy yakety yakking, so we could have done it faster. Showing off eggs, talking about cheese and and uh, butter. Hey, cheese and butter are important. You know what? We still have. I think we're probably going to be able to make it because we can probably. I mean, we did a lot of pie filling, but from the apples and the peaches, but. I think what? we're going to make it till we have fresh tomatoes with our canned tomatoes and things. I did have to buy tomatoes at Costco. Today. Well, the, the fresh tomatoes you did have to buy. Where's the sandpaper? Um, you had it over there. 
Did it get beat and walk off? I don't know. Did it fall on the floor? Oh, it fell on the floor. All right, I'm going to bring out the original paint finish. Yeah, hopefully the camera is not just washing this out. You can see all of the good color and the wash just makes it. Honestly, like some people don't like the, the drippy wash look. But if you've ever been to a salvage yard, they usually just have all their stuff sitting out there in the weather. And it starts to look a lot like this, the way the water runs off and oxidized and the verdigris. Um, I wasn't even going for a verdigris, but all cottage colors and uh, with the exception of the copper from the pennies from heaven from DIY. Oh, no, I'm making a mess. It was wet. Let's see. That's still hot. pretty bright. But you can, in person, I think if, if it doesn't sell online, it'll sell in the shop pretty quick. Because it's so cool. Yeah. And then... It already sold. Here's so the, you like oh, it. this here's, already sold? This one, I think I'm going to let it dry and add a little bit more pink on top of the dark wax. But I think this turned out pretty cool. You couldn't even see that detail before. Picture this with some greenery. Like, I don't know. See, see? it's going to look good. All right. Let's get all our projects up all right. here. All right, dun, 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 dun. I'll get the ones from the back. And then I'm going to have to do, I started a reel before we got done, and I'll finish this. Here, I'll show you this one close to I don't, did you show them this one? Yeah, I did. That came out real good. All right, Zeb, are you going to show them all the, then we got the can shelf. Can you see these all in there? I think so. Thanks for joining us today. Um, go to jamierayvintage.com if you want to buy these projects or if you need paint. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Chain Marie Vintage for more. DIY. Thanks for supporting us. We will see you on Wednesday and we'll have an edited video out on Tuesday. So watch for that on YouTube and the Facebook. All right, Thanks. guys. Bye, guys. Have a great Monday. Go, go knock it out of the park. Yeah, make this the best Monday.